Welcome. This video is designed for parents of babies who might be at risk of developing chronic neonatal lung disease. It will highlight the journey of a baby through the neonatal intensive care unit. Chronic neonatal lung disease or CNLD is defined as a baby still needing extra oxygen at 36 weeks post gestational age. There may be a variety of reasons for a baby needing extra oxygen at this stage, but it is most common in premature babies as they will have fragile and immature lungs that often need extra oxygen. This is the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit, or NICU, where babies who need extra support after birth are admitted. When you enter the NICU, the receptionist will help you find your way to the correct area and can help you with many queries. Hello, how are Hello. you? I've just had to see my baby. Okay, if you could wash your hands please. The nearest sink is up there. If you could wash them. Once they're washed and dried, could you gel them? Thank you. Okay. Before you enter the unit where your baby is being looked after, Please wash your hands using the method shown here. There is a sign above the sink to remind you. This makes sure all the babies in the unit are safe from infections. There are three units within the NICU, the Intensive Therapy Unit, or ITU, the High Dependency Unit, or HDU, and the Special Care Baby Unit, or SCABU. All three units are contained within the NICU. ITU provides the highest level of support. This is where your baby may start his or her journey. Here, most babies are in closed incubators, which provide a safe and warm environment for your baby. Your baby may be on a ventilator to help them breathe. Here, you can see the tubes which connect your baby to the ventilator. These tubes lead to the monitor for the ventilator, which can be seen here. This can tell the doctors and nurses important information about your baby's breathing. Your baby may have a breathing tube going into the lungs to help them breathe, like this baby, or they may be on non-invasive ventilation, which we will see later. Here, you can see another baby who is on the ventilator with a breathing tube in their incubator. The monitors, shown above the incubator, keep track of important things like heart rate and breathing rate. Nurses keep an eye on these monitors. The high dependency unit. When a baby is well enough, they may be stepped down to HDU or SCABU. HDU is the next level down from ITU. Babies in HDU still need support, but not as much as those in ITU. Some babies in HDU may be in incubators while others might be in an open cot. This baby is on a form of non-invasive ventilation known as CPAP that uses a sealed mask instead of a tube going into the lungs. And here you can see another form of non-invasive ventilation called high flow, which doesn't have a mask like CPAP but does provide a similar level of support with the help of nasal prongs. Special care baby unit is the next level down and usually the step before a baby goes home. Most babies in the SCABU will be in open cots. Some babies in SCABU may still be on oxygen or need extra help to feed. In HDU and SCABU, it is often possible to be more involved in your baby's care. Ask the nurses about what you can do with your baby and they'll be glad to help you. This can help you prepare for going home as well as giving you a chance to bond with your baby. Holding your baby skin to skin, also known as kangaroo care, is encouraged and the nurses will also support you with breastfeeding if that is how you'd like to feed your baby. Eventually, the day will come when you and your baby are ready to go home. This may be daunting, but remember, community nurses will have trained you in using oxygen and will visit you within 24 hours of going home. They will then visit weekly to make sure your baby is healthy, but they can come more often if needed. They are also available to phone 24 hours a day if you have any concerns. You will be given an appointment at the home oxygen clinic, usually within two to three months of going home. Here, you will meet the children's respiratory consultant, who will assess your baby thoroughly and decide on the next steps in your baby's care. Hello, welcome to the home oxygen clinic. Um, I'm just going to go and get the patient to come through and see the professionals for a consultation. Hi, 
we can always come through. You may meet other healthcare professionals, such as community nurses and dietitians, who can help you with feeding and nutrition. At some point, either in this appointment or at a subsequent appointment, the consultant may decide that your baby is ready to be weaned off the oxygen. Thank you. Thank you very much. This will be done slowly, managed by the community nurses, and only at a pace appropriate for your baby. Most babies are weaned off oxygen by the end of their first year. The healthcare professionals are all there to support you and your baby. So if you have a question or concern, ask them. If you want further support, there are other resources such as Bliss, a charity dedicated to supporting premature infants and their families. The Bliss website contains factual information, personal stories, as well as an email support service. We hope that this video has provided you with an insight into chronic neonatal lung disease. Thank you.